Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Simu K, and this is High Fleet. And I just wanted to show you this. I think it's quite interesting. We've reached a point now. L let me start this sentence again. High Fleet does not allow you to save your progress. If you die, you go back to the beginning, unless you take one of the enemy strong points, at which point you can reload that save point progress at any time, or so it says, although I can't really tell how you do that just yet. Now if we look at our progress here on Bravo, you can see we got a bonus of 2,715, the progress, rather surprisingly, of 42%. I don't feel like we've necessarily covered 42% of the game, but if that's the case, then the game is only about 10 hours long, if that, because I've been taking my time. But if what they say is true, if we can reload from this point at any time. Oh look, 59 hours ago, oh, 59 hours ago, yeah, yeah, okay, we're not going to be able to get that. Uh, so that's the strike group. So if what they're saying is true, and we have the ability to reload from this point at any time from now on, then I could start taking risks. What I'm thinking is I might split our strike group up into two parts and then start exploring in two different directions. That could really work in our in our favour, possibly. It's a bit of a gamble. Alright, 16.8 hours to repair. We know we've got a strike group very near to us, so we're pushing the very boundaries of safety by being here. But let's uh, let's get down on the ground. Looks like we've got some ship work repairs going on already. Let's have a look at supplies. Now, we were told we have to get to the base. We have to get to the main place. Look at this. We have no money still. Um, I think if we just take a bit of fuel. Like this. Or maybe not even that much. Maybe just this much fuel. Then we've got some options available to us. Because fuel here I don't think is particularly uh, good, is it? Um, I'm trying to remember what happened in the last episode. I've got a terrible headache. <laughs> I really do. I'm trying to um, treat it with medicine. This sinus infection is... Uh, it seems like, seems like it's getting worse rather than better. I've got myself a little... Uh, a little bit of medicine to make me feel better. I'll take my mind off it a, a bit, at least. Ah, there you go, better already. Right, we'll pop that down there. And we'll have a look and see what we're going to do. So, am I going to split the fleet? Is that a wise idea? We've got the Sevasto, obviously, the Yars. I mean, we've got some ships here that have been brought in by Tarkans which actually belong to them. I don't know if I can sell them. Um, but even if I can't sell them, I don't know what the point of them is. What, I mean, what is the point of their existence? If that makes any sense. So we go and look in the ship works. Well, we've got the Triumphant here, which has got four nuclear A100N missiles. A radar homing tactical attack missile with a nuclear warhead. I mean, what the hell am I going to use that? against um yeah lord only knows <laughs> lord only knows what we're going to use that for so the jaguar i think okay right we got some repairs and stuff look at this one here the negev on the Nijev, right i can't see any weapons on that at all just a massive fuel tank um I mean, I've got all this stuff here. Oh, that's the point. That's what I wanted to do. The Sylvester Pole. Can I stick any of this on here? Oh, the Sylvester Pole has already got some. Look at this. I didn't even notice. We've got some KH-15N missiles. A turbojet-powered radar homing cruise missile with a nuclear warhead. So, I mean, we've got these basic missiles here, but we've also got these massive kick-ass missiles and stuff. I'm just not sure how to use them, if I'm being totally honest. And I've, I've watched... I don't like watching other people's videos, but I'm a bit lost in this one, at times. So I have gone and watched other people's videos, and what I've ascertained is... I know more than most, which is surprising to me, because I don't feel like I know very much at all. Um, but I've seen some people do some weird things, 
and clearly not knowing what the hell they're doing. And I think we're all kind of in that boat to a degree. Right, let's get the fuel sorted out. Let's get the repairs sorted out. 11 hours on repairs. Oh, hello, radio signal. What's going on? I hope this is a cruiser. Look, there's two of them. There it was. Jade, speed 140, moving east. Or kite. Okay, not very helpful. Not very helpful at all. Ten hours left to repair this ship. Another one coming in. We're pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable here at the moment. No sign of the task force yet, I've got to say, though. Which is pretty good news. What next? We'll arrive approximately 12 hours going at speed 90, heading blah blah blah. To arrange, to arrange, to arrange, I thought it was a place, medical treatment for crew at Ingle. East, so they're going east. Hmm. Right, so, far northwest of Akkad. Now, where was Akkad? Akkad was here. Northwest is up here and here. So I'm thinking that there's another Tarkan either here or here. And what's behind that Urgut? What do Urgut have? Talk to me. Ah, it's an enemy uh, information point. Do you know what? I'm tempted to go and see what this strike group is all about. Because, you know, I've been told that they're scary and deadly and lethal. But are they, actually? That's, that's the question, isn't it? I mean, are they? I mean, can we t just take them down? And once we've got rid of them, obviously... They're not going to be a problem anymore. Going somewhere, moving northwest, cargo electrical equipment equals wind walker. Now some of these messages I don't understand fully, to be honest. Right, 3.2 hours. My god, we're definitely in the middle of the mix, aren't we? There's a lot going on here, clearly. Malachite, flying east, northwest, no passengers. Wire, weather, you can. Reactor water, 20 tonne. Okay. Definitely in the area where there's enemy movement. Right, so we've done what we came here to do. The effect is now uh, done. All our ships are ready to go. Do I split up? I could, couldn't I? So we could take the Sevastopol, A Navarin. I don't know, see, this is the problem. <laughs> The ships we have are not necessarily the ships I want. But they, there was a strike group here. Let's go see if we can find them. Let's go give them a slap in the face. New target on the radar. Where, 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 where? I'm not seeing it. New target on the radar where? Are you telling me, porcupines? Right, so what was this message? The far northwest of Akkad. So Akkad is here. Northwest, so it's either here or... Um, I'm going to put a tar can in there. Possibly a tar can in there. One of those, isn't it? It could, I suppose, theoretically, it could be there. I'm not seeing anything on the radar. I think the game's lying to me. My morale is pretty low at 
not very good at all. Ah, we have a target down here. So, I'm going to change direction, and we're going to head this way, and I'm going to hope that this is a cargo ship. Uh, let's mark it. So, according to that, it is approximately, not there, not there, but here. Target. Alright, let's head towards the target. And once we get a second scan... Attention, new target on the radar. Doing 156. Now that's faster than a cargo ship. And it's also heading in this direction. Uh, so... What's going on here then? Looks like he's going that way. Let's send a little... Let's go and have a little look-see. Navarin... I've only got one Navarin now, haven't I? Ah. Alright, we'll send the Skylark with them. And the Yars. And we'll see if we can intercept. Who knows what's going to happen? So the main strike fleet, I'm going to send up here. Oh no, I can't do that because we haven't got anything to fight with. I definitely need some better ships. Oh, he's coming this way. Attention, new target on the radar. Uh, now we have two targets. Okay, this could be bad. Oh crap. Where did that target come from? That's doing 142. Right, I think we might have found the strike group. Uh, Let's try and intercept with our own people. Here. And here. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's all kicking up. I tell you what, I better be able to reload this. I've been all careful up until now. And you say I can reload from this point. At any time, I better be able to. Going at speed 90 northwest, prepare fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not relevant to us right now. What's this? More, okay. Definitely in the area for communication. Hotbed comms. Okay, I guess we've got a new cipher key. Uh, yeah, I haven't got the time or patience to figure that out right now. I think we're going to get into a big battle. He's turned! He's turned and he's running. Now that is unexpected. Maybe that isn't a strike force. I don't know. We can't catch him. He's doing 156. We can travel at... It's the Jaguar. It's slowing us down. So I'm going to take the rather... dodgy uh, decision to ditch the Jaguar so that we can catch them. There you go. So we are now catching this ship, whoever they are. Uh, you're supposed to be joining these guys. Good, good, good. So we've now got the Jaguar back on board this ship. We are chasing these guys down at speed. Oh, things just got very exciting. What's going to happen? What is it? Looks like there's two ships here. That's not good for us because uh, we've only got... Yeah, this is an enemy unit. Okay. Prize ship. Intrepid and a slogger. Does the Yars have any weapons at all? I'm going to have to do all of this with the Navarin. 
I cannot screw this up. And although I've got bombs, that's not going to help me much. Because they are already airborne. Is that the prize? No. Oh! Son of a bitch! Flew straight into the missile. It would have missed me as well if I hadn't have... Uh... Oh no, 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 no! Come on, that ship's done. <laughs> that is a big ship up there. It's going to be worth a lot of cash if we can get it. That's done. Come on, that's out of here. So you've got to give up now. That's the rules. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's a bit more exciting. Royal Guard. Yeah, cruising range increased by 30%. Right, let's secure the fuel tanks. Because that's going to get us um, some fuel. Hopefully our big ship will catch us up in a minute. I think there's another cargo ship higher up. You'll notice that we still got a radar alert here. Which means that this is certainly not over. Uh... So we got captains and crew, but I need money. So I'm going to go for the money. Show me the money. All right, let's try crew protection and hope that uh, they get kitted up before this runs out. Why does it say rescue? Attention, new target on the radar. Yep, okay, so we got two new targets on the radar. Oh, there's missiles coming in. These are most definitely missiles, right. Okay, problem, massive problem. So we know where the strike force is, and we know they've got some serious weapons. Uh, and he's kind of on his own here, which is really quite scary. Attention, new target on the radar. Yeah, we know. Tactical missiles incoming. Try to destroy it with anti-air fire before it hits one of your ships. <laughs> we haven't got any anti-air fire, I don't think. What ship did it hit? That one looks like it's missing. So they've taken out two ships, but we only had one there. I'm confused. Uh, oh, here comes another one. What are they shooting at? They better not be shooting at the... They're not shooting at those. They're nowhere near those. Yeah, okay. Okay, so they're just firing unlimited number of missiles at us, it seems. Missile destroyed my ass. That hit me. Yep. Oh, we can't shoot. Well, that's most disappointing. Right, so we got that. We got that. Let's get back on our ship. And let's no mm, yeah. Let's go. Let's go this way and figure out where everything is. Let's turn our radar off for a second. Infrared contact, the IRST reports a heat target. Okay, I could use your advice. Space to continue. The infrared search and track system detects that calculates the bearing of all heat sources. It excels at detecting airborne and grounded ships alike. The IRST has a much smaller detection range compared to our radar array. However, it is completely undetectable by the enemy. If the signal isn't strong enough, aim the system with this control knob to focus it in a specific direction. The IR readings in this sector will be displayed on this screen in higher detail. Yep, 
Yeah? In which direction are we detecting something? Warning, radar emission detected. But according to that, it's on our left hand side. Don't see it. I tell you what, I better be able to come back from this if it all goes wrong. So I'm jumping straight into the lion's mouth here. Look, that's completely empty. Whatever message that was, it's it's long gone. Yep, don't know what happened to that message. Perhaps I took too long to answer it. So we know that the strike force is over here somewhere. Can we prepare a strike group? Yes, we should. Genuinely don't know uh, which ships I've sent forward right now. Okay, it's all going on. Anti-air missile system. The ship has been equipped with an anti-air missile system that can destroy incoming missiles and planes. I have four anti-aircraft missiles. Missile launched. Where's me? I am confused. I am confused. So I've gone in here with just a Fennec. Whose idea was that? Or is it just that the Fennec is that much faster? Oh great! One shot! And now we can't do anything at all. Genius! Whose idea was it to send just the Fennec out of interest? Be brave, my men. Be brave. Right, we got one. I think something hit us. We can't fire. Uh, we got one. That's. I'm quite impressed with that. The Fennec should not have been in there. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Visual contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got jammers and all sorts. Which ship is mine? So we're getting attacked in the air by missiles. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I get it now. We've got some good anti-aircraft uh, ships contact. in our, uh, in our mists. Yeah, we can actually hold off these missiles with what we've got. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so we've got these two sons of guns. I've got one ship with high explosive guns on it. Don't know what that is. Uh, I'm thinking something like that. I, I don't know what... I don't know what, what ships have weapons and which ones don't. I wish you could just click on them and have a look at them and understand them. It's, it's like I'm expected to know every single ship's current loadout. Do you know what I mean? And I don't. I really don't. I forgot to put the camera on. Hello. Um, okay. Hope for the best. Well, that was nice and easy. Yeah, go on. Turn, turn, turn. Get off the ground, you heavy old. Right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Can't believe we hit the ground. That did so much damage, look at that. 
We lost 50 crew there. Okay, things are definitely hotting up. Uh, let's secure the ammunition. Secure the fuel tanks. There's some survivors there that we could search for, but... Nah. They were shooting at us. I mean, do I care if they survive or not? Right, I'm going to take a gamble. I'm not going to put my, my safety kit on. I'm just going to try and grab this if I can. Because time is of the essence. I'll let the... The thing blew up and it killed all the survivors. So that's not really my fault. take limited responsibility for that. I can't believe how well we've done here. This one has to go wrong. There's no way I can get all three without someone dying. There you go, the hydrogen in the batteries. 35 people died. <clears throat> Morale goes down by one. Splendid. Uh... I was going to say, where's it going to land me? We've only got one leg on this Negev here. Hang on, was I fighting with that? Was I fighting with that one? I'm confused. Alright, let's get moving, guys. Come on. On to the target. We are literally surrounded by enemy forces. They're everywhere. Oh, hello. Radio signal. That's why I can't move. <sighs> yeah, totally encrypted. Can't read it. Not going to waste my time on it. Roger. Attention. Okay, we've got missiles Attention. coming in from down here. I mean, they must have a maximum amount of missiles, right? Son of a bitch, you got through. I'm not going to land any of my ships. Uh, and there's the Tarkan. All right, let's talk to him. We need some good news. Before you can approach the ship, you hear a guard's loud voice telling you to stop. An armed man on the aft deck is watching you. He gestures for you to stay back. The moment you take another step forward, the ship fires a warning shot. The projectile whistles and sizzles as it soars into the heavens. Have they lost their minds? Do they even realise who's standing before them? We'll stay here and wait, or we can give him a couple of warning shots ourselves. Let's stay here and wait, because they're not trying to kill us. Maybe they're trying to warn us or something. A man disembarks from the ship and walks towards you. His uniform and insignia are not familiar to you. He acknowledges you with a polite bow as he approaches. We never expected to be graced by your presence, Grand Duke. I must apologise for my men. In the name of issue, peace be with you. Who are the issue? The issue is the central figure of the Romani religion and a point of contention in Garat. Some Elims accept the existence of issue, whilst others reject him outright. But that give my people faith. All right, let's try it and see what he says. He's unbelieving. Fair enough. I thought he might be. I had a sneaky suspicion. We are at war with Kiva, Tarkan. Perhaps we can be allies. Ah, so, what do we know about this guy? Absolutely nothing. I wish we had some better cards or options. Um, let's give him a, a gold elephant. So he loves wealth. Okay.
The war with Kiva and why it's necessary. Let's try with that. Force plus one. Ah, he's peace minded. He's unbelieving, he's peace minded. But he loves wealth. Let's give him a bronze icon. We didn't like that. He doesn't like us at all, look. All right. It's, this is not going to go down well. How the wealthy oppress the people of Garat. Yeah. See, he loves wealth. I knew that wasn't going to go down well, but I've got no other option. How the weak appeal to justice to undermine the strong... No, this is not going anywhere. This is a conversation that's destined to fail. Loves justice. Well, now I know this about him. Ah, uh, this is no time for philanthropy. I think he'll like that. No, he's kind as well. Right, so he couldn't like us any less if he tried. The injustice. Yes, the injustice, my friend. And the dangers of faith and the superstitions it brings. That's going to go either really well or really badly. He's unbelieving, of course, so that's good. That goes in our favour. Let's give him... Syadi is a good friend and fearsome, uh, but he's peace-minded. Let's try it. Fear goes up. He's now afraid of me. Good speech plus one. So, that didn't go very well. What have you decided? Will you join us? I want to meet other Tarkans. Do you know where to find them? But no, Duke, I will not join you. Surprised much. Tarkans are outlaws now, but I've heard rumours of Tarkan living in the north of here. Thank you, I appreciate it. So that did not go super duper well. See you later then. I think maybe I could have turned that around if I'd have given him a gift one more time. One more time. Um, okay, I think we need some fuel. But we got some serious ship issues here. Can we repair the Jaguar at all? Which one's which, for God's sake? They all look the same, don't they? So, we've got bombs and missiles on here. That's always nice. Uh, we could sell that. What's he got on here? He's got that big, big-ass cannons, hasn't he? Uh, where's my... Where's my other ship? Have I lost a ship? Oh man, that's going to cost a lot. What can you do for a tenner? Right, at least if I do that, I can land the ship. What happened to the, the, the ship that we captured? Alright, so there is a strike group heading straight towards us. And there's some trade ships there. Alright, we're just going to go straight for him. It says we can reload at that point at any time, so let's put that theory to the test, shall we? Oh, looks like we're going into a battle. What's this? Laser guided missiles and high energy explosives. Okay, we, we got some cool. So we got proximity. Oh man. Proximity fuse. Let's try that out. high explosive, that's proximity fuse, and that's armor piercing. Oh, let's go for armor piercing then. And you've got high explosive or... Oh, we've got none of those. Okay. Right, let's, let's try with some armor piercing. I'm curious what this ship can do. Well, this is going to be one hell of a battle. I see now what the battle is going to be, and I don't think we're going to win it. Uh, 
Uh, any idea where they are? Oh, wow. This is a slow ship. I can't even see them. This is not fair. How can they shoot at me when I, I can't shoot at them? I can't get away from them. Can't do a damn thing. This is a terrible ship. I wish I'd known it had kick ass guns on it earlier, though. Alright, that's that done. Man, we can't move or anything. What we need to do is get in, not in between these two ships, but have them, in, one of them in between us and their uh, teammate, because then they can't keep shooting at us. This is a totally different type of uh, fighting. Literally cannot move. And I can't see where the damage on this ship is. This is not good. Yeah, okay. All of a sudden, we're back in the game. Couldn't stop that missile. There's another ship up there that I didn't even know existed, look. I suppose I could retreat. Can't retreat. Because we can't get enough energy. Where the hell did that ship come from? Come on, I've used all of my fuel extinguishers. Get me out of here. I can't lose this ship. Come on, get to the retreat point. The enemy has been destroyed, we won. Bloody hell. We lost a lot of men. Holy cow's milk. The search for survivors for a change. Oh, we got, they're still firing missiles at us, though. Hey, 
all of that for two people to be rescued hardly seems worth it. Ah, let's secure the fuel tanks. Are you kidding me? You're going to bring more people into this fight. Start with the uh, Jaguar. Right, where are they then? Give me some idea. Oh yeah, sneaky. Jesus Christ. Right, that did not go well. Yeah, we have no uh, extinguishers. This is uh, quite possibly the end. Did we get one? I think we got one. We've lost our big guns. We're done for. The ship does not move. Engine lost. Yep, the fire extinguishers are not putting the fire out. I don't think we have another another ship with ammo with weapons. Oh, retreat, damn you! No guns, no engines, no fuel, no ammo. Right, what have you got? Oh, that's my ship over there. Well, the only thing I can do, really, is just try and outlast them with fuel. But you can see how, as soon as I put any kind of thrust on this at all, uh, instantly overheats. I can move two feet and it overheats. Just got to try and get them to shoot each other, I guess. Yeah, we've got no fire extinguishers. Wow. Well, that's game over, right? So this allows me to go back to Tafet. And here we are again. Okay, so this is the, the, the place where we started today. Right, so don't look at that like we tried to do it and we failed. That was like an experiment. I really wanted to know what it was like to go up against these people and see what kind of damage they could inflict. And they're obviously very well armoured, very well um, covered in uh, missiles and such. So that was a really good learning experience. I now know what I need to do. Some of the ships we've got, I think, are completely bloody pointless. Um, so. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm going to have a little think about what we're going to do, but we're going to come back again, and I'm going to... We are definitely taking out a strike group. Um, in fact, we did. We won the battle against the strike group. I mean, not convincingly or anything, but we lost a couple of ships whilst we were trying to figure stuff out. Um, there, a lot of things went a little bit wrong there. But uh, yes, very interesting. And I think we need to possibly get some more ships, which means maybe I need to get rid of some of the ships that aren't really working in our favor. But very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's really opened my eyes to the game quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I know I got my ass kicked. That was kind of expected, really. But um, from this point on, yeah, I think I think we're less scared of the strike group than we were before. Maybe not with the current ships that we have, but now that I know what we're looking at, I think I've got a good idea of what we need. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.